Do you have an old funky dog? Do you have an old funky dog bed? We did, so we needed a dog bed that we could change the cover on and wash the cover. And we'll show you how we made it right now for $10. $10. Hey, what is up? This week we are making a dog bed. We're making a little dog bed because we have a little dog. We have a 19 year old Dachshund. She sleeps all day, every day. <laughs> and she drools and things come out of everywhere. She's old, she's goopy, you know, old goopy Dachshund. Well, she goes through those beds from Ross weekly. Weekly we're buying a new bed from Ross because you try to wash them, yes. but they get all lumpy and she's she's like an old princess. She's the princess in the pee of old Datsun ladies. <laughs> yes. That's what's most important with our dog bed is we're gonna need something that has a washable cover so that I can take it off, wash it, and put it right back on and not have to wash all of the foam. That's our plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. So step one, steal some plans from Martha Stewart. Oh, <laughs> I like that step one. Found a little video, instructional video, and wrote my own plans, which you'll see down below. Because there were no plans, Ooh. I had to write all the notes down really quick. Ooh, transcribe. <laughs> but I have learned how to make a reusable cover dog bed. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is use some, uh, I guess the second thing. First thing was to steal the video. First thing, steal a video. <laughs> second thing. Steal this video. <laughs> buy some fabric. So you're gonna need something that's a little bit durable. So this is a canvas fabric. And you don't want anything that's too dark because it's gonna show the dog hair. You don't want anything that's too light because it'll show the dirt. So you want something that's kind of neutral. Ooh, that's a big balance you gotta find there. That's right. So this isn't my favorite fabric, but it was a nice neutral. Oh, and we got it from Walmart. How much? $2.50. A yard. So this project is gonna take about a yard and a half of fabric. Ooh, that's $5. <laughs> well, for Two yards, it's five dollars because that's what we purchased. But for this size dog bed, which is 18 by 24, the bed is 18 by 24, but you're gonna need to add three inches for the foam. Here's where I lose Garrett with the math. <laughs> you have to add three inches for the foam, <laughs> which we also got at Walmart. That'll make two dog beds. So it's 20, 24 plus 23 inches for the foam plus an inch and a half for the seams. So now we're at 27 and a half. And then we're going to do a little fold over. If you'll see here, I have the top piece is going to have, it's, it's a little bit longer. It'll be at 37 and a half inches in length. And you're gonna cut that in half and we're gonna use that as a nine inch overlap. All uh, right, we're making a giant envelope. Yes. It's like a pillow sham. When you stuff a pillow oh, in a yeah, pillow sham, we're gonna stuff some foam in this. Oh, we're stuffing it. This dog bed cover. All right, three. A three. Make a little edge. So here, we're going to fold, to make a nice neat edge, you're just gonna fold a quarter of an inch, a half of an inch, and do a little top stitch. So we've already done our little fold, and press that in neatly. Yep. And next thing is top stitch. So let's move some of this out of the way. Do you wanna try and sew? Oh yeah, I'll try to sew. You can do this part because I think it'll be kind of easy. There will be some pieces that maybe aren't as easy, but I think you might be able to try this one. I'm not sure that Garrett's ever tried to sew before. Yeah, I have. I sewed in eighth grade home ec. I think I made a surf, no, I made a skateboard pillow in <laughs> eighth grade home ec. I made the wheels and everything. Well, let's so. brush off those sewing skills and see what you got here. <laughs> Gas me in. Okay, well, I think you're gonna have to sit. Oh. And then you're gonna sew just like a quarter of an inch in from Am the I left just winging side it? there. Is it just like level with the foot? Yeah, well, maybe line up this edge with the edge of the foot. You see that? And that's gonna give you about a quarter of an inch. So if you keep this lined with this, you're good okay. to go. All right. Put the presser foot down. Yeah. Um, Do I just start going? I would put the needle in. Put the needle on the record. <laughs> and then start going. Go. Hold on, that's slow. Yeah. Is it like a fast speed? Push down on the pedal harder. Oh, there okay, we go. Okay, stop. You gotta back it up because you've gotta like keep it from- Cause it's a big fun fabric, won't you back that thing up? This is probably not a good idea. <laughs> hey, do I use the pedal while I'm backing up? You are, right? That's the only way it's doing it. Do I have to check behind me? Where are my blind spots? Push this down. All right, go. And if go. it's too fast, you can slow the speed down. All right. Now remember, see it way over there? You're gonna keep the side of the pedal 
level or a long. Whoa, watch your fingers, babe. Aligned with the side of the fold. My foot got a little antsy. Yeah, let's see. You're about to run me away. All right, second piece, same as the first. All right, why don't I take over this piece? All right, we'll see who looks better. You did a great job. Oh, thanks, babe. Oh, next step is sew them together. Wait, next step is who's had the better, who had the better seam? Let's see, oh, mine's, mine's a bit wonky. Mm. Oh, Tie. I think we've, <laughs> I think we've had some issues. <laughs> All right, next thing you're gonna do is pin wrong sides together. You got that? Wait, pin the wrong sides together? Yep, so wrong sides together, just like this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a French seam. So once it's seamed together, it's gonna have a little edging around it, but the seam is gonna be nice and finished looking. So I'll show you. I'll show finished. you as we get, it's gonna be finished. Like looking. blonde hair and blue eyes? Yeah, something like that. Now we gotta pin these together. Pin them if you got them. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sew a seam all the way around at about a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna pin them together, sew the quarter inch seam. And then you like that. Lesson learned, keep this at a quarter of an inch because the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it inside out and sew a half of an inch. And if you have this at anything larger than a half of an inch, your inside seam is going to show. Next step, take the pins out, flip it inside out. Next step, that we, now that we have it turned inside out, now sew a half inch seam all the way around. Job. Now we'll turn it right side out and stitch it another half inch. Oh wow, that's a lot of stitches. Now that we have it flipped right side out, we're gonna sew our last half inch top stitch right along the edges. Okay, now that we have our half inch top stitch on top, we have our nice finished French seam. Doesn't that look nice? It looks beautiful. Next step is to add the depth for the three inch foam. So what we're gonna do is add a pocket corner. So we have to turn it right inside out. Sorry. Back to inside out. Back to inside out. So what we're gonna do here is you're going to make a little triangle with the seams. So you need to match the seams up. Do you see this? Make a little triangle and you're gonna measure down so that the length across the triangle, which is the base of the triangle, is the depth of the foam. So our foam is three inches deep. So we're gonna sew a three inch seam right across the bottom of the triangle, the base of the triangle, and that will create a three inch deep pocket. Okay, now that we have our four pockets, time to turn it inside out and see if we did it correctly. All right, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. All right, so now our corners are done. Check it out. Now it's time to cut the foam and shove it on in there. So 18. Oh, all right. We'll do it your way. Bread knife. I think we're through, Doc. There you go. Not a bad cut. Yeah, looks pretty good. A little jagged. <laughs> Might be a tight fit. <laughs> oh, get on in there. So the French <clears throat> seams are a nice, sturdy <clears throat> seam. I think you got her all squeezed in there. 
All right, yeah, I think that'll do it. It looks comfortable. No. <laughs> we can get Gracie and put her on there. All right, let's go get the dog. Look at there. Look at your new bed. She loves it. Yeah, look at that. She look loves at there. it. She loves it. All right. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for checking out our video. Uh, it's time for her to go back to sleep. And uh, we're gonna go put the bed away. Let's go put it in her kennel. You sure you can slobber on it? Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed today's video, please give us a like and a share. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. The button will be down below and hit the bell to be notified of our new episodes every week. Thanks for watching. And before you go, please watch one of our past episodes. Take a <laughs> peek, watch something, subscribe, like, and share. <laughs>